Question 34. Now, the good news about this is it's easier than it looks. So a bit of algebra, x divided by y equals 7. Remember, this line here means divided by. Um, so the top number divided by the bottom number got to be 7. And we've got to give a value for x and y to make that true. Now, there are multiple answers to this, lots of different answers um, that you could give. So let's just think of some that we could give. Um, so we'll have a little table to put some answers in there. X's and Y's. Well, as long as whatever X is divided by whatever Y is gives you seven, it's got to equal seven. So we'll just put some equal sevens down the side and then we'll just start thinking of answers. So let's say we were dividing by two. Let's say Y was two. What could we divide by two to get seven? Well, 14. 14 divided by two would give seven. What could be, let's say Y would be three. It's almost easier to, to pick the Y number first. So, and then think about what X would have to be. So what number divided by three would give us seven? Well, three times seven would give us 21. So it would have to be 21. 21 divided by three, give you seven. Just put a divide sign in. If Y was a four, what number divided by four would give us seven? So 7 times 4 is 28, so it has to be 28. 28 divided by 4 would give us 7. It doesn't have to be um, easy numbers. You could pick bigger numbers. You could go up to 10. What number divided by 10 would give us 7? Well, 7 times 10 would be 70. 70 divided by, if X was 70 and Y was 10, yeah, that still works. 70 divided by 10 gives us 7. Um, we could even go uh, really randomly. You could go 50. So 7 times 50 would be 350, and that would work. 350 divided by 50 would give us 7. So any of these answers um, would work. And these aren't the only answers, but we, we actually only have to give one value for X and one value for Y. If any of these would work, you could probably come up with your own answers.